Rabbi Kaplan, that Rav Daniel Kaplan. Maybe you have a few words for us. Oh, now, a long time I didn't speak on this, uh, in this form of uh, because I didn't have what to talk about. And to say a sheer, I mean, I say, anyway, I say a sheer, say a sheer over the phone, who's going to listen to a sheer day? Everybody goes to shurim, and, and this, and this is not the place for shurim. So, uh, but just now a certain subject came up, and I wanted to talk about it. And that's the subject of trailers. It's not a new subject. It's been around a few years. This there's been this discussion about Chelus. I just got this article, which is written by somebody, and his name is Rav Noach David Isaacovich Williamsburg. Seems to be he's a Sadmer Chosid, and he's a uh, uh, how do you say it? Uh, it's in the uh, online they found it www.tehalis.org org and over there there's this article on Tehalis before I talk about it I wanted to say over some points from this article which is like around 15 pages and I was very impressed how he goes through. Basically, the article is going through all this simonim of uh, of the chilozen fish and saying which fish of those that nowadays make trailers, which one is the most fitting with all these simonim. And it comes out that the cuttlefish which that is the fish that the Holy Radzina Rebbe found off the shores of Italy. That's the most fitting with the, the 11 simonim that the Chazal gave for the Chilozim, which is interesting, because somebody that doesn't know, doesn't know the subject and thinks he knows the subject, thinks he knows every subject, said to me, well, of course, the Radzina is for sure a mistake. This person, which he knows every subject besides one subject of the Abba Mini, he doesn't know too much about, but everything else he knows everything about. So he says to me, oh, of course, the Radzina is for sure the wrong one. Now, now, it's amazing how people could think what they think they know and sure that they know and they know very little. And it's, it's not that they their opinions are based on what they know, their opinions are based on their their psychological makeup. Is it with uh, self confident or not self confident and that a lot, a lot is what to talk about there. Now, I'm afraid I'll get into that. I'm not going to get back to that subject. I forget where we're coming from. In fact, maybe we should make a, a note of that and remember to talk about it some other time. Now, I wanted to talk about <coughs> two of the sea money of the Chilozen fish and the different opinions but before reading this article brought me to start thinking what is it that made certain people wear tchels <laughs> why do they do it why are certain people wearing certain kind of tchels <coughs> which what I mean is that there's a fish that's called murex murex it's actually not really a fish it's a snail snail of some type which you fish it out of the sea and from that there are certain groups 
Rabbi Kaplan. Uh, Rabbi Kaplan. What? It's not that efficient, I think, to be Meduyak. It sits on the bed. It sits on the bottom of the sea. And they go down with baskets. Oh, right, right. Okay. It's on the floor of the sea. And they go down there. They dive deep, deep down. And they, and they fish it out. And this is the snail that's called Murex. From that, many, many people made trailers and wear it. And this is what we are, this article mainly is going against that. Now, I want to understand why do they do this? Now, of course, the simple answer is these people, they got up one morning and they thought to themselves, how can I make a nachas ruch to Hashem? Look how much Hashem does for me. He gave me a bed to sleep in. He gave me clothing. He gave me food to eat. He put brains in my head. And he gave me the, the capability of using the brains and feeling good from it and all kinds of other things. What nachas ruch can I make back to him? Let's wear the trailers. Let's make a new mitzvah. Mitzvah that was forgotten. Let's do fresh. And bring a carbon in front of him, so to speak. And make nachas ruch lefon of his birth with that. And that's why they wear the trailers. And I'm, I suspect that it's not that. Even though you might ask who gives you the right to be Melamed Chov on so many Yidin. But the answer is when you have so many caches in their trailers and it's so, so hard to answer the caches that there is on them. There must be, must be some of them. I mean, why, why should you think that Hashem is gonna is gonna be happy from you doing something that, or that that all the all the signs show that it's not it's not Hashem's will? I'm a lie. <laughs> it sounds like somebody will say like this uh, that uh, if you read uh, certain books, if you wait, I don't know, if you read a science book, let's say. So it'll drive out the Machshav Azorus. You won't think, won't think bad thought. Oh, let's do a mitzvah of reading a science book so that will drive out bad thought. Who asked you to look for a new mitzvah? Just, just don't think bad Machshav obviously, and I'm not talking like a certain person. I mean to say that, to sit and learn and you won't have Machshav Azorus. Why would you have to go in roundabout ways? Why go in roundabout ways? And the same thing is over here. My suspicion is that it's something else. There are a certain group of people which they were in Ischadish in the last, I don't know, 70, 80 years. I do call it that team Lumiim. Now, I'm not coming here to fight against them. There are a lot of very special people by them. A lot of people with good meters by them. There's a lot of good meters by them, better than by us. What do you mean us? What so-called charedim. And there, there's a lot by them. Their wives dress much, much nearer than a lot of by us. But... So what are they? What are these people? The answer is they're new. They're new. What made them new? A, a new tzura, a new tzura. Whether it's the chitzonius, for sure it is. And maybe it's the panimius also. A new tzura of a yid. Until now, in all these all these years of Golas, we said Baruch Ato. 
they came and said, well, why don't we do a new thing and say Baruch Atah? I know some people don't have a sensitive enough ear to tell the difference. Well, 95% of people do tell the difference between Baruch Atah and Baruch Atah. And when they say the name of Hashem, they, they, it's the God that we speak to is starts with Ado, and the second half of his name is Noi. And these people, they, they, the God that they dive into, so his name starts with Ado, Ado, and ends with Nai. Interesting thing, but it's the same God. Why, why, why is his name pronounced different? Well, because it seems that we started a new, a new, a new way, a new tzura of Yiddishkeit. Now, you want to start a new tzura of Yiddishkeit. Why is it? Is it a coincidence that it just came together with Zionism? And at the same time when Zionism was invented, so that new tzura of Yiddishkeit was invented. And I know that many people are not going to understand what I'm saying. Experience has taught me that when you talk about delicate things and, and find differences between things, most people will not understand and they'll take one or two lines that you said out of context and they'll answer on that without understanding. And that's what's going to happen now. And you'll see by the comments that I'm going to get on when I'm talking that they only took part of what I said and they answered on that. Or you'll see that they didn't really understand what I said. But I'm going to say it for... Don't I need I need big out long big groups of people to talk to to understand what I'm I'm talking to those few Yechidim that do understand. So in the time when Zionism was invented and it started, so this new tour of Yiddishkeit also started. What's the coincidence? Why did that happen? Another thing. Why do these people? Uh, uh, themselves to Rav Cook. Cook was a big tzaddik, and Rav Cook was a big Ovid Hashem, a big uh, going and learning. And what does he have to do with these people? Well, he had also he was he was more wasn't in in that sort of Yiddishkeit. But the truth is, I think everything is connected. All these three things, remember, I'm talking about here. I'm talking about Zionism. I'm talking about the Tzura of the that that Lumim gave. And I'm talking about Rav Kook. And from there, I'm going to get to the Tcheres and connect it to, to all this. Rav Kook was a person with hallucinations. And I know you're not going to understand and not going to believe me. He was a Baal HaChalomus and a Baal Dimyanus. That's what he talked. He talked very deep things. He talked about Ruchnius, about Kedusha. He talked about places that are so high, the Chet can't be pogim over there. He talked about taking the Chol and changing it into Kodesh. And not only the Chol, the regular Chol, the Tume, the places where he himself calls it, a Rech Ra comes out of them, that that ain't called Beria Yocholamad Bim he says. He talks about newspapers, the media. That they had. sometimes they say such things, and it doesn't mean pornography. That's posh. It doesn't mean not because He it. It means, I think, he means he means the whole, the whole approach to, to to what happened to to, to uh, events that happen in the world is in such a based on an apicarsish uh, look. That it, he calls it a rech rush enko berio cholamad ben kitzosim. Yet we can still use 
that approach, he says, for Gaiva of Kedusha, Azus of Kedusha, and from that we're going to build a nation and build a country and all the demyonis and the chalomus that he goes on to say. Now, all these ideas are based on uh, things that are written. They're, they're based on holy sources. But the question is, uh, how far do you take these things? That means, how, or better say, how low do you take these things? Do you bring these ideas all the way down into Olamaza Hagashmi? That, that, that actually, and we have to live that way. Live with this belief that the Chol will turn into Kodesh. And the Chol has a connection to Kodesh. And that the Chol has a place, a Schuskiel. Or do we say no? The Chol is a Tofel Shabbat failing to the Kedush. We only use the Chol as much as we need in order to be over the Hashem with it. But we have nothing to do with it. It's no, no, nothing in itself. Maybe that's how we should relate to it. And the fact that the whole can turn into Kodesh, or, or will turn into Kodesh, that's from the secrets of how Hashem runs the world. That's Hashem's job to to plan that. Like, like for example, nowadays there's such a thing as... Uh, as uh, Bahram, or even girls, and in and, and many Mishpulas, they go off the dirt. I was tonight sitting and discussing it with my daughter-in-law, Simi Kaplan, Yaakov Yudu's wife. She's very smart and very understanding of human nature. Very much. I was very impressed from her tonight. And and, and she was saying that, that, of course, in somebody else's name, but but it's just that she could say it over was impressive that that sometimes you have to look at it like like this is their way this is their their, their, their the way what was what was uh, and he said what was me you out for them what was planned for them and Hashem's plan that they should go in this way now how could you say such a thing but 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 this is against the living such a life is against the Torah. How can you say that such a thing is uh, is their way? But the answer is that that that's Hashem's Hashem's secret. We 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 really can't understand. Look look at Menashe that came out of Chizkiah. Chizkiah didn't want to be Mekayim Peru and bring a Rosh like that into the world. The Navi said to him, "Buddy, Kavshidrachman Alamalach." This is a secret of Hashem that we have to bring down a Menashe to the world. And and <coughs> a Russia like that means in Hashem's plan there was place for such a Russia. He has a, he has a place in the plan of us. How, how, how could such evil have a place in Hashem's plan? Bahadi Kavshi de Rachmona Lomaloch with the hidden secret of Hashem. Why should you try to understand? can't understand. And the same thing is over here. That's in, in the general idea of, of the whole turning into Kurdish. It's the secrets of Hashem. It has nothing to do with us. But Rav Cook talked about it and talked about it. And he got excited about it. And he thought he's seeing it happen now in front of us with Zionism, which is one of the greatest evils that ever happened to Jewish people in all the years of the Golos Zionism means saying to Hashem like this you were with us all these years Hashem we had a base in Mictus we were close to you we went out into Golos we stayed close connected to you and we said we're going to remember your shalom. We promised we're going to remember. We'll never forget your shalom. Your shalom means the place where the Shekhinah rests. 
the place where Hashem connects to this world, where He reveals Himself in this world, we're never going to forget that Hashem can reveal Himself, does reveal Himself. There's a place where He reveals Himself. And just by remembering that, we're going to stay connected to the idea of Hashem being here in this world also. To the, hey, 1900 years we lived like that came Zionism and said, listen, Hashem, 1900 years we lived with you, enough already. Get out of here. I don't want you here. I want to live like a goy. I want to live my own life. I want to have my own country, my own army. I want to rely on my own power and my own brains and my own everything. And you get out and stay away. We had enough of you. That is what Zionism is. Clear. And he left. And anybody... And, 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 and the, I, don't, I don't see... You don't have to be that smart to understand this, to believe this. But, but unfortunately, there are many that don't understand this. Came along and said, Nah. They didn't really mean to say we'll drive Hashem out of this world. They meant to say we're going to start a new style of Yiddish guy. That's what they said. That's what the religious Zionists said. Which was a demon, a chalom, a dream. And Zionism is beferish this. Hashem, get out of here. We don't want you. Let us open up our own house. And you stay out. Nah. Now you have to be a dreamer not to see this. But they decided it'll be so wonderful not to see this. Let's blind ourselves. Let's not see it that way. Let's just say it's a new style, a new brand. What's the difference if the box, there was... There was always uh, the the yellow cheese. A certain kind that comes in a in a blue with a blue wrapper. And now they made one kind with a purple wrapper. But it's really the same company and the same yellow cheese. So let's also we say, no, this cat is continuing. It's all the same. Except instead of saying in Meshkoche Yerushalayim, Tishkech Yemini, so we'll say it in a Hebrew accent, like a modern, in modern Hebrew, in Meshkoche Yerushalayim, Tishkech Yemini. It sounds so similar, but yet there's different nuances. It sounds more, it doesn't have in it the sound of Hachno, his body. The Golos Jew, which you meshkachech Yerushalayim tishkach yemini. It's all with the how do you say it, the pronunciation of the Milara. We'll say it that way. And we will say how on your mats maut. How do I sham kitav that Ben Gurion was successful in his shmat? How do I don't you realize what you're saying over here? You're saying how do I sham kitav on on shmat, on the success of shmat, on the taking of hundreds of Yemeni Jews and other other countries and 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 putting them in camps and shmatting them. And on that you're saying, Hodu Lashem Kitov. I once said to one of these people, you should, after the kinnis, why don't you get up and say how and thank Hashem for giving Titus a success. What's the difference, the success of Titus or the success of Ben-Gurion? This is killing the Gufim and this was killing the Nishamas. What's the difference? Of course, the person didn't understand, as usual. So, so as I'm saying, what I'm saying is 
that these people that wanted to put blinders on their eyes like you put on a horse on both sides, they shouldn't see what's going on on this side. They decided, no, nah, this is you, this guy. It's just a new form, a new style, a new rapper. And we'll pronounce things different, then we'll, we'll dress different, then we'll have a different outlook. We'll believe in Aschal to the Gula, we'll believe in Rav Cook's uh, hallucinations, and we'll, and we'll live like that. Okay. And that's what you call religious Zionism. Now, now we'll get back to our subject of Tchelis. Once you have this outlook, you get up in the morning, Oh, wow, we're in our own country. There's one's a Baldinian. Mommy, somebody that, 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 that if, if I didn't hear it with my own ears, I wouldn't believe somebody could talk like that. This person got up on Friday night and he said in his, in his, uh, Mahon, not that I don't want to call it a yeshiva. It's, it's a place that does good and makes Bali choose. So the head of the place said, we have to be united, Klai Yisrael should be united. But we are united, he said, in this kind of tone of voice that I'm talking. He said, as if uh, the tone of voice that says, everything is so wonderful, everything is so rosy, everything is beautiful, everything is amazing. We are united. Yeah, let me hear, what, what are we united? Let me understand. Look. We have one Knesset, one police, one army. We're united. We have, I mean, you idiot. We, we, because we have a few institutions that all are one, does that mean we're united? We, we're the most uh, split uh, that than we ever were with. Look, one Knesset. <laughs> Just look at that itself. Look how many parties over there. But no. He chose to be to be to be living in demonies, living in imaginations in a dream world. Well, it's wonderful to be united. Well, let's let's uh, decide how we are united. Let's talk ourselves in, like the Arab that he said, "Get away from me!" They're so, they're giving out dates for free in the shuk. And then he said, "Wait, what am I doing here if they're giving out dates for free?" What do you mean? He starts believing his own his own demonies. So he starts believing. So he says, if we're going to live in Olama, I mean, that's everything is so wonderful. And everything is united. And we have everything we need. Now, what are we going to do now? So, 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 yeah, so, so what's next? I mean, so if I ask my question, what's next? I say to my what do you mean, what's next? Do you know about every Toshis in Shas? Do you know about every shach and chosh and mishpat? Do you, do you, can, can you answer on the spot when they ask you a question? Well, what do you mean, what's now? What's now? And did, did you did you clarify every sugar? Or you just know it superficially? You just race through what, what do you mean, what's now? And what, what kind of davening do you dive? Every day you run through, you dive by a certain place and they race through the davening. And do, do you feel anything? Do you feel you're talking to Hashem? Do you feel you're praising Hashem? Do you feel that you're connected to Him through the davening? No. You're just doing something which is, which is Jewish. Me, I'm talking about myself. So what do you mean, what's now? There's plenty of work to do. You're already 65 years old and, and you didn't even begin. So what are you saying, what's now? Chaprayim, the last years of your life, and maybe, maybe you'll, you'll, you'll get to something that you're supposed to get to. I mean, what's now? No. Well, everything is so wonderful. We already have a eschal to the gula. We already, we're only way after all the way you're talking about making up what you missed. We're already holding in the gula. Part of the gula started already. So what do you mean? Oh, let's make up a new mitzvah. Let's look for a new mitzvah that hasn't been done till now. Wouldn't that be so wonderful? A mitzvah that was forgotten, the mitzvah of Tchelis. Well, what else could you do? What else could you do? I once saw somebody wrote in the Besheva, 
newspaper, what I call a rag, because they give it out for free. So I read over there, look, the Datilo Me movement made so many wonderful things they did. Look, they even created a new uh, a new uh, container that you put the tefillin in, and they gave it a name, Tfidanit. Did you ever see it? It looks like a jar. And you put the tefillin uh, rosh inside and shalyad on top of it, and then you 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 screw on the top, and it's a tefillinit. Look what we made, and what so what? What's so special about it that you could go in a tiyo and go in water, and the tefillin won't it won't mess up the tefillin because it's sealed tight. And they want nothing to have. Look what we made. Good. They had a whole list of things that they made. I would add to the list that they made. It's not such a terrible thing to connect boys and girls. But uh, but now that's getting better. But um, but, uh, but 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 what what else can we do? Oh, let's do a new mitzvah. That's called. There's trailers and sitzes. Everybody wears sitzes. It's such an old mitzvah. So everybody does it. But we could do something new in this mitzvah. Let's wear trailers. Somebody came up with this brilliant idea. That's where it all comes from. It all comes from the feeling that Demon, the imagination that we reached something after the 1900 years of Golos. And it's connected to Zionism because that's what Zionism means. But Zionism did it in a much worse way. They said, enough, Hashem, you had enough, get out of here. And now, uh, and, and, and they, Imagine that that's not what really what they meant. They meant let's start, and but the idea is let's start something new. And from there comes the idea of wearing trailers. That's where it all started. And the the producer of us pointed out this. I didn't check the facts, but he pointed it out that. It happens to be that those that walk on the Arab bias nowadays that do this Easter and think it's all right to walk on the Arab bias, usually they wear trailers. It's not a coincidence. It's because we'll do new things. We'll wear trailers. And everything is so wonderful. We're in this. We, we have to do new things because that's all part of the Aschal to the Gula. So let's also go on the Arab bias because uh, we're starting the Gula. The Gula is starting the 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 Binyan Beis Amiktas is, is is on the way already that's where it all comes and that's what I think and those that don't understand they're gonna comment I very much want to hear their comments to see maybe I'm wrong maybe people do understand what I'm saying but I want to see am I right or am I wrong after talking so much, I want to get to the subject itself. I just wanted to take two of the arguments. Uh, maybe only one, I don't know. We'll see how, how much time we have. It says in the Gemara that its goof is Dome Le Yam. What does it mean, Dome Le Yam? Everybody understands that its color is like the yam. The color of the trellis is the color of the sea. Now, we know that the color of the sea is blue. The murex fish that they use for trellis is not at all dominantly yam. It's brown, light brown. Then the outside and the its meat is 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 also light brown. And where where's there any blue? Now the the Razinas trailers, which is called the cuttlefish. It's 
it's blue um, and it changes colors. title bomb that uh, I told you about uh, uh, that I had to do with a little bit a year or two ago. Uh, One more thing I wanted to say where it's getting late. 
It doesn't come up ever. Oh. Oh. Doesn't come up. You have to go fish it yeah. out. So where, when do you go? So where does it mean? So they go and they go and they fish it. And it happens to be that they went and they go and they fish it out and twice a year. As a season, once in seven months, they go and fish it out. And they have a reason why, they, they say they have a reason why they fish out in the beginning of the winter, beginning of the summer, which whatever reason they have, because that's when they don't multiply. So what? I don't understand it. And Professor Moshe Ranan, whoever that is, he says that the whole thing doesn't make sense. Ein Shum and his mama, I don't know where to find it. But these people, the Bali Dimian, Tavger and Bechaburoso, so they say, no, they fish it out once in seven months. Uh, but it says once in seven years. What are you saying, once in seven months? So they say, okay. Maybe a year, a month, a year really means a month. When they said once in seven, they meant seven months. They didn't mean seven years. And then we'll say that there's a gears in the Masachas cities instead of Achas Leshevim Shana, Achas Lesheva Shana. Yeah, and then with that you're going to pass in a Shaila with that, you're going to bask, and that's what it is, with I guess so that you found in Mesechus Tzitzis, which, which is not the Gemara, even though it's a price, it's still not the Gemara. And you're going to change I guess, and you're going to say that a year means a month. And a Rav uh, Isaac Kovic over here says, says, and, and what are you saying is once in seven months? And what about the apples don't come out once in seven months? They they come out in the summers or the months in seven months. Or months. It's, uh, you see, it's a dochek, a gabi dochek, a gabi dochek. And instead of being honest and being modalimous, this is not it. And we're not doing Ratz Nashem by doing such strange dochkin. We're not making Hashem happy. Why don't we just sit and learn and make Him happy with that? Why don't we just be make storm of five hours straight? I mean, I myself, I'm not such a big masmid at all. I don't think, I never in my life, I don't think I ever learned three hours straight even and I, when I was young, there were people that bothered me. I was battled my years away. But still, but let's, let's from now on, let's be Miss Chazik. Let's start learning with Mars. Let's do the regular thing. I once heard from Rabbi Mary, he says, mm, what does it say? That one of the first things that happened in the Churban Abais was Bata Atomit. She was there, but times it was both of the carbon tummy. He says that's the beginning of the carbon. The regular avodas of every day was Miss Bato. That starts a carbon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Other, other new, the new things, maybe, maybe you found new things, but what about the regular avodas, the day after day avodas? What would that, that was Miss Bato. That. Two things I wanted to show you. It's not my own. I'm saying over from a Rabbi Isaac Kovach, but it's mind-boggling how people could be so crooked. How people could so much look for a tofu and make it into an eker. No, Hashem should help. We should all... Our minds straighten out and maybe we'll talk about some of the 
other things in further coming talks, maybe, maybe, maybe not. But I think the most important thing is to know that we have to be mechazik. So let's take something out of it for our own life. Instead of talking the whole time against others, let's be mechazik in our day-to-day vote. -day let's make our feeling more meaningful. Let's make our terror with more as motive. Shem said, I'll be car of my shir should come with the should be coming by Vudosum with Big Day Kuna with Tchailas. And, uh, and we'll know what's the right way. Amen, amen. Thank you, Rabbi Kaplan.